There you are. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that Ankano's been asking about you. I think he's looking for you. I'm not sure. Just... Well, mind what you tell him, all right? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? You're welcome. Why specifically stars? Wait, you aren't referring to... No. There's no way you would know about that. It was a few years ago. A few of the mages got overconfident and were exiled. Ah, they had no talent anyway. I hear one of them, Nelikar, still hangs around the frozen hearth. Guess he has nowhere else to go, poor thing. I can teach you. But I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Certainly. Destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot, and less costly if you miss. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful, but you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. Take a look. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Everything. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
do come back. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Now don't you let Rogatus cause you any bother. Honest pay for honest work. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've lived through rebellion, forsworn, undead, witches, wizards, hag ravens, <laughs> and marriage. Oh, wipe that frown off your face, Rogatus. You've been wearing that frown for over 50 years now. You want me to smile? What's there to smile about? Soldiers and dragons are going to be trampling all over the crops this year. I just know it. Oh, stop being such a grouch. Not every visitor to the farm wants to burn it down. Maybe they just want to have a nice supper with us, hmm? You don't invite monsters into your home to have supper. I won't have them here, and I'm certainly not smiling for them. My boy Leontius lives in Old Trolden. Damn drunk. That's right, Old Inn to the south. The Oaf doesn't even bother to visit these days. What am I supposed to do if the dragons burn down the farm? You're a traveler, right? I have this letter for him. Let him know how much of a failure he is. Good. You make sure the lug tips you when he gets it. What kind of question is that? Look at me. Is this a young man's face? I've been here 50 years, and nothing's gonna move me off my land. What, have you been staring at your feet this whole time? You see that big city up ahead of you, Markarth? Head over there, unless you feel like helping my wife pick crops. And then 50 years later, you'll wake up and still be here. Until next time.
Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not gonna ask again. Don't you walk away from me! That all you got?
like an old lady.
Есть. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me Is it know. absolutely necessary? You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. <sighs> what a boring conversation. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I can smell a tavern three miles out. Some people think that's odd. I think it's a talent. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. It's good to see you again. Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Rada disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raider would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall. But I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raider any good. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Is it absolutely Pardon me, necessary my lord. for you to bother Would me? Would you right care now? to hear me play my lute? I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. To Anything to break the boredom of living in this no, town. I'll tell I envy you. Him. If I could sweep her away from here A pleasant know, journey, my lord. But Klimek still has so much to learn. been a good friend to me. That means something. Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. The road takes you many places, but sometimes it's best to pave your own. Feeling a bit nostalgic. Ten long years I've been on this journey. I want to return to Riften, but at the same time, I don't want to see it end. Until next we meet. Oh, Raiden, Raiden! I miss Raida. She was so nice to Narfi. Narfi's sad he can't be with Raida. Raida! You saw Raida? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Oh no! No, no, no! Narfi never got to say goodbye! Now Narfi's all alone. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. Narfi's sad now. Still wait for Raida. No more sleep. No, no, no. I hope the road brings you adventure, Chama. This isn't a story, but some information. To the west, at the source of a river, I found a marsh jutting out from the surface. If I knew how to swim, I'd see what's attached to it. Xia Ting, friend. Let me tell you about my days as a brawler. It was sans dusk, and I had spent my last coin on a bottle of cheap swill. I was still young and foolish then, and spent gold like a skiva eats cheese. 
to earn some money I took to brawling in the taverns. The gold belly paid for the healing potions I needed to cure my broken bones. Well, I bought so many potions the local alchemist took pity on me. She gave me a recipe on how to make new ones. Of course, idiot that I was, instead of learning how to make the potions, I sold the recipe. Then I went back to the tavern to brawl, and I lost it all to some big Nord cow. <laughs> I was such a fool. I don't have a tale off hand, but I can tell you of how I learned to craft them. You see, early in my childhood, I had the dislike of names. They never really described anything. Well, take Riften, for example. Does the name tell you about its people, its culture, its history? Does it describe the dampness of the air as it wafts in from the canals, or the leaves that roll down from the sky like autumn tears? Names do not make a city, and they do not make a man. That really, if my name was Blue Eyes, sure, it wouldn't be wrong, but it wouldn't tell you very much about me. Yes, but one thing too, and knowing how are two separate things. When I was young, a beggar in the Ratways, a former explorer, used to tell me tales of his travels. Knowing my history, he always made an effort to be as descriptive as possible, to use his words like a painter uses a brush. Neither, he taught me how to paint. Very well, I would tell you of the far west, where there are mountain peaks striped with rivers of stone. The air is thicker than a Jarl's waistline, and the wind rumbles like the breath of a dragon. I was lost in the clutches of night, with only the blood moon to guide me. That is, until I saw a fire, and a circle of tents tucked below the rock. Imagine my surprise when I approached the camp and found three women in furs no larger than a hair's breadth, training their arrows at my throat. I froze. I was intoxicated by beauty and fear. I thought I'd surely be dead. I wondered if there was a better way to die. And a voice came cutting through the silence. It said, you can shoot him in the neck, but he won't bleed. The blood's all below the waist. And just like that, I was saved by peals of laughter. The hardest of which came from the man who saved me, a man who called himself King. I once visited Oryxted because I fancied the song about Ragnar, trains to find a town named after a still living person, Rorik of Rorikstead. I guess that's why they call it all Rorikstead. Must have had another name, unless the song isn't as old as I think. This may sound odd, but I like Raylod. A tough love made me into the man I am today. Of course. She's strict, mean, and has little patience for noisy children. Everything a parent wants in a teacher. Naturally, I didn't always think so. When I was little, there were many times I wanted to do Glelod harm. I even tried to bribe a guard into killing her by offering one of the orphan girls as payment. In the end, I am thankful the guard didn't turn me in right then. How foolish a child I was to think I could convince an adult to commit murder. Ah, you're right. I have enjoyed our talk. May you craft your own stories as you continue your travels. Never trust a danger with a smile.